I guess it's a good thing we came to Britt's mom's house overnight because they were right. The storm came in and apparently this is just the beginning. This is mid-April in Manitoba, Canada. I want to say this isn't normal, but uh, what what is normal? Whoa. What is normal? Uh, so we came in last night before any of this uh, started. I'm just going to go, or I'm just going to get the car warmed up. I got the big guys with us. We got all the dogs at Britt's mom's house. We got to go to the ultrasound appointment. The big guys are going to come with us. Because they're quite a bit to handle when we're not around. They get a little bit anxious. Plus with a snowstorm, at grandma's house, they just get all excited. And last time, Diesel ripped the curtains down. Right, Diesel? He's back there. <laughs> Okay, let's go pick up Brett. I just got to bring the vehicle up to the door. We've got an ultrasound. The good thing this terrain is a tank. It'll go through anything. Mother Nature couldn't stop us. Yep. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Yet. <laughs> just blowing over the hood. Uh, Winnipeg's always windy. Yeah, this is just another day in Winnipeg. That's why I couldn't understand why everyone was freaking out over this blizzard. Like, people were panicking. They were panic buying. The supermarkets were, like, stripped bare. <laughs> yeah, I went in the other day just for a couple top-ups. couple things on my list. No big deal. And I'm walking through the superstore, and I see, like, three huge long lines. Like, I don't know, a quarter mile long each. It was ridiculous. And everybody's cart is, like, just heaping. And I was like, huh? I'm in line, and I'm like, oh, right, it's going to snow, so everyone's panicking, even though that's what Manitoba does. It snows. Yeah, it's Manitoba, and it's, it's going to be gone in three days. Yeah. So most people should have three, at least three days worth of food already in their house. So why oh, do you need to stock up like we're going to be like locked down for another COVID lockdown or that's something? That's exactly what it seemed like when I was yeah. in there. I thought we were going into lockdown for a second. Yeah, it was, it was crazy, but yeah, it's Manitoba. Just another day. There go the sirens. That's how you know you're in Winnipeg. <laughs> All right, I gotta get up there. All okay. right. Another ultrasound. Good Hopefully luck. today I am triggered so that <laughs> I'm triggered. <laughs> so that, not that kind of trigger. Not that kind of trigger. <laughs> I'm not that kind of girl. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, Friday can be the surgery, but I guess we'll see. Might have to stay at mom's another night or two. Getting close though. Have fun. Thank you. goes crazy weather though eh? it just doesn't really scare me that much like it scared everybody else I really don't know why people were they were they were panicking it really looked like we were going into another lockdown three days of snow people three days you'll be fine if you don't have three days worth of food in your house at all times you should probably reevaluate uh, how you're s grocery shopping. I, I, in my opinion, in my opinion, you should have at least a month's worth of food. You should have a big freezer somewhere and have some frozen food in there. Just be ready for a month because for three days, I mean, maybe because we live out in the country. Well, we live in a small town now, but I'm from the countryside. And a storm like this, guaranteed there's going to be power outages outside the city. Guaranteed. All the snow is very wet and sticky and it's going to stick on the power lines and uh, cause power outages. So you gotta be ready for that as a country person. And the grocery store is also a long ways away when you live in the country. It's a, it's a full afternoon event to go grocery shopping. So you always have enough food in your house just in case, you know, if the, if the roads close or if you can't, you know, if you get snowed in or if the power goes out, you gotta have a generator and you know, you gotta be prepared. I, I guess people in the city have a different lifestyle that I don't understand and they only have enough food in their house for a day or two and they always have in the back of their minds like oh the grocery store will be open tomorrow and it's just down the street I'll just go get more groceries I guess it's a little bit of a different mindset when everything is so close by and convenient but... oh well to each their own if I could give my opinion I'd say always have at least two weeks of food 
at least two weeks of food. I mean, if you can do more, do more. But some people, like our house, were space restricted. Where are we going to put a big freezer? Uh, now we got the shop, so we're going to put a big freezer in there. And we'll have some food in there. Just in case. You, know, you never know. You never know. This is Manitoba. And mid-April, sometimes this happens. That doesn't mean we like it. But we must accept it. Right, Chevy? Mid-April, Manitoba. Third winter. <laughs> there will be another fake spring yet. Sometimes we even get blizzards in May, so honestly, this is not that big of a surprise. We are a little over it, though, at this point. On our way to the pharmacy. Again. Five more shots, and then it's go time. Looks like everything's gonna happen, or the, the big surgery's gonna happen on uh, Saturday, right? Yep, Saturday morning. Really getting excited now. I can't believe we're having this much snow mid-April. Um, even for Manitoba, this is, this is nuts. We'll probably be staying in the city again tonight. I don't think we'll be driving home in this. And possibly tomorrow night. I doubt there's anything going on at work today, and tomorrow's probably going to be the same thing. We'll probably be shut down the rest of the week. Yeah, highways are closed. We have like not even a quarter mile of visibility here, and this is in the city. Yeah. I can't imagine how bad it would be out on the highway yeah better safe than sorry we've invested too much time too many emotions and way too much money into this to miss it yep we're almost there we got one more appointment and then uh next month is the, uh, is the transfer yep uh well we have a follow-up okay after but we'll get into that later we got a very detailed sheet but tonight i take my trigger shot then it's go time. Until then, we play the game. Are we in the lane? I don't know. <laughs> Who's to say? I don't know. You guys think I'm in a lane? I think I'm in a lane. I mean, it's... there's some parked cars there. There's a van traveling there. It's think... anyone's guess, really. There's a guy parked over here. I don't know if he's in the lane or not. I mean, I'm on the road. He looks like that. he's up against the curb, so okay. I think this is we're probably the right lane. Distance. I'm thinking this is probably the right lane. Even the professional drivers having trouble here, so you know it's bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, this well, terrain is like a tank. It'll go through the snow, no problem. I just worry about everyone else on the road. I'm just going to go ahead and point out, though, that we have no venomous spiders or snakes. Or giant crabs that want to break your arm in half. So, I mean, or kangaroos that want to punch you in the throat. And we have no earthquakes. Not very many tornadoes. We have a few tornadoes. No hurricanes. No, no real tsunamis. Big natural disasters. No tsunamis. We we just got this, and I'll I'll take this over like shark attacks and tidal waves and earthquakes. I, I run on hot anyway, so I prefer the cold. Yeah. Maybe not this snowy and blowy though. Not a big fan of wind and ice. This is crazy. This is still just the beginning. It's supposed to go on all day and all day tomorrow and the next day. Yep. So it will be the biggest. They said it's going to be the biggest one in decades. I guess they're right. Thank goodness for my mother and the fact that she still lives in my childhood home in Winnipeg. Thank you, Mom. Otherwise, we, I don't, it would have been tough to get in today. And thank you for loving our boys. Mm -hmm. Diesel. He's just having a blast. Chevy hates it. Ooh. We're here for our drugs. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Ah, my wipers are all full of snow. On second here, we gotta fix this. Give them the old Canadian wackaroo. Uh, go with that method today. Just, just wait here, boys, okay? Just wait. This is insane. You know, I was hoping the weather people would be wrong. They were right. Whack. 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 We're not supposed to be doing this stuff in April, you know. <laughs> Cut to his mother hand. Whack. There you go. Show it who's boss every now and then, you know. 
just in case I forget. Look at this. I can't see down the street. Look at that truck disappear into the snow over there. Look at that. Just down the street. Yikes. Right? Right, Chevy? Oh, there's lots of snow down. Sounded like Scooby-Doo there, bud. Who's Scooby-Doo? He's a friend. My mom-in-law let us stay here through the storm so we could make it to our appointment. Hi, guys. And it looks like we have a family of eight. Or 18. Or 18. <laughs> we just got dogs. We I don't even dogs. have kids yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, Wiener followed, followed Britt. Oh. Yeah, he followed Britt. There. Oh, yeah, right over there. He's at the end of the hall. Okay, he's trying to get into the room. We slept in separate beds. I slept in there. And Britt slept in that room there. She's just getting ready. You can always tell where she is because you just find Wiener. Yeah, so there's a small break in the storm right now. It's supposed to be raging on for the next couple of days. And that's what it looks like out there right now. But it has cleared up quite a bit. A little bit windy, but the snow has stopped. So we're going to quickly run home before it starts up again tonight. And all day tomorrow, it's supposed to storm. But yeah, all that snow was not there this morning. Or yesterday, sorry. It was all grass. It's crazy how much snow got dumped. Thanks for letting us hang out here, though. No problem, guys. Anytime. With our whole no zoo. Anytime. <laughs> Back at home here, you can see the snow that fell is very wet and heavy. And mostly melting right away. But the whole backyard is uh, winter wonderland again. This was all mostly... <laughs> water in the center here already you can see here melting through wow their whole yard is like water part of ours where i'm walking here is pretty squishy all of this look at that it's just a low spot and the ground is still frozen so it still has it still can't get into the ground but uh, give it a few weeks and the ground will thaw and all this will disappear in a day or two just goes straight down makes its way into the aquifers I'm sure and then it gets into our uh, drinking water eventually I don't know how that works I'm not a scientist but I am tired I know that <laughs> I didn't sleep the best at their house overnight the mattress I was oh it just wasn't my mattress it wasn't home it wasn't my bed I'm a homebody I like to be at home so I didn't sleep the best. I feel like I was like I pulled an all-nighter. I've been struggling to keep my eyes open all day. It's nice that we were able to get home uh, during the break of the storm. You can see that the snow started falling again. I don't know if the camera's even picking it up. It's just starting again. According to uh, Environment Canada, uh, there was going to be a bit of a break during the day today, and then around supper time today, it's going to start snowing and then intensifying overnight. So we're going to get another blizzard overnight. And then it'll all melt in a week, I'm sure, or less. And by the time we have our next appointment in the city, uh, the next appointment is the egg retrieval. And that's my big day, too. That's when I got to bring in, uh, do my part and bring in my contribution. And uh, so Saturday's my big day. Might have to do my hair. I don't know. Put on some cologne. Oh, wait, no, they specifically said no fragrances in their office. I don't know why. There must be a medical reason for that, but I can't wear cologne. Nope. I can shower, clean myself up a little bit, and then, you know, after that, it's just a waiting game because they retrieve the eggs out of her. Today they saw 11, so hopefully they can get all 11. Maybe there's some more hiding in there as well, and then they'll fertilize them, and in a few days, uh, within a week, less than a week, we'll know how many uh, took and how many lasted, and they'll be frozen. And we'll be ready for uh, mid to late May for the transfer. I'm still awake. <laughs> Barely. Day 3,693. <laughs> it's been 84 years. <laughs>
<laughs> we're just practicing for when we actually have the kid. You know, we're never going to get sleep again, so we may as well get used to it now. It's a great prep. Mm-hmm. Prep uh, session, yeah. So we got, what, three more days worth today? Right? Uh, nope. Ooh, that alcohol is strong. Ooh, that one is that strong. burns your eyes. That's a gooder. Um, Ooh. I got tonight, I got tomorrow morning. I haven't done morning injections yet. Oh. And then I have tomorrow night, I trigger myself. Yeah, we explained this before, right? You have three yeah, injections. And I tr get uh, Saturday's the big day, the big egg retrieval day, and of course, my grand performance. I was telling them about it before outside. I was like, you were the, telling them about it? Yeah, the big, well, not detail, not details. <laughs> I don't but. even want to know the details. What were you telling him? Oh, just that my big day is coming. Your big show? Yeah, my big show. Uh, my huge, my my big contribution to this. You, just, you were about to say huge. <laughs> 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 my huge contribution <laughs> to this process. It, it's gonna be a. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they're gonna like get out the red carpet or. Uh, you know, if I, uh, there's going to be a band playing, maybe? <laughs> there's no band playing for me every time I do this, so. Yeah. No, you don't get a band. I'm sorry, dear. Yeah. 25. Got to put 25 into the next 25. one. 25. Just going to put the sharps over here since you guys seem to be taking up my sharps container there. Yeah, I got you mounted on top of the container right there. What am I gonna do with all these leftover needles? Like, I'll bring them to the pharmacy, but I bet you they just dispose of them, even though they're completely sealed. Because they've been in someone else's home. Like, what a waste. I have like, one, two, three, four, five, ten. I have like 15 needles in here, and I probably have like 20 or 30 in the other box that I've just held on to. Yeah, I guess they'll never be used. What a waste. They're completely sealed. Maybe they'll take them back. I'll bring them with me when we return the sharps container, but we'll see what they say. I bet you they're gonna like look at me like I'm a crazy person. And I'll be like, save the earth! Yeah, save the earth. So there was actually 200 left in that pen. I only have to put 25 into this one. Okay, you gotta prime it too. Yeah, it's a new one. Yeah. So should I dress up? Can you wear a bow tie? Should I wear a bow tie? Please. Wear Please. a full suit. Like, <laughs> why do you always pretend like you're gonna do these things? Then I beg you to do them, and then you don't follow through. Rent a suit to show up to the fertility clinic. <laughs> I am here. I dressed in my best. Dressed in my best. First time I'm meeting my kid. <laughs> <laughs> We've been up a long time. <laughs> we get weird. It's a big day. Yeah, it's to celebrate. <laughs> Should ask them if they'll buy me dinner. I was gonna say that to you today before you went up. I said you should ask them if they'll buy you dinner. Man, after all, everything you've been through. That's okay. There's a lot of ladies out there that have been through a lot more than me. Yeah. She made friends today at the fertility clinic. It's so quiet in there. I'm tired of all the silence. So I broke that silence. Everybody always sits there with their heads down. Like we're like shameful in there. And I was just like, no, not today. And I started talking to everybody. Some people seem to think there's a stigma around IVF and infertility and- There kind of is, even amongst so I the guess. community. Not with me and Brett though. We're just like, huh? Don't tell the world. Hey. Hey, look what we're doing. My uterine lining is beautiful. Or a bow tie to my performance. <laughs> my huge nice. contribution. Huge. 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 <laughs> anyway, she's about to inject herself with a few more needles tonight yet, okay. and uh, we've got a couple more days of this, and then Saturday's the big day, like we've been saying, so we'll uh, fill you in as we go. We'll uh, end the vlog here then. And we'll... Oh, we're ending it. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not ready to like end it? Five little droplets. Well, I mean, I was, and then that happened. Oh, exciting. Excitement. 
Yeah, I better concentrate on this instead of you guys. Yeah. Have a good night, guys.